Okay, the, so this should be a fun video. We're gonna do distance, we're gonna do dot product with angles, and we're gonna do projections. And actually this probably looks the most complicated, but it's, it's one of the easier ones to do, the, just the projections here. But we're gonna start with distance, so. So how do you find the distance between two vectors? So uh, we have vector A, which is two in the x-axis, three in the y-axis, and B, which is one and negative two. Well, the distance between A and B is just going to be equal to uh, the magnitude of vector A minus vector B. So what does this mean? Well, so distance, and this just comes straight out of uh, Pythagoras' theorem. So it's just going to be the square root of the components, so 2 minus 1, so the x components first, 2 minus 1 squared, plus the y components now, so 3 minus minus 2, or you could write that as just 3 plus 2 squared, and pretty straightforward calculation, so 2 minus 1 is 1 squared, plus, you know, 3 minus minus 2, or 3 plus 2, so 5 squared. So the distance between A and B is going to be 1 plus 25, which equals the square root of 26. And that's it. That's your distance. So, okay, so moving on now. So dot product. Um, you know, dot product is used a lot of times uh, to get uh, an angle between two vectors and um, physics and engineering and, you know, chemistry, biology, whatever you're studying. And you usually see it in this form, but uh, we're going to work. Um, so if you just take both sides of the equation and divide off the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v, you'll be left with cosine theta equals uh, vector u dot product vector v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. So we'll run through uh, this little example here. So first we're going to calculate uh, u dot v. So u dot v equals, well we just uh, multiply the components then add them up, so 2 times 1, so 2 times 1, plus 1 times 1, so 1 times 1, plus negative 2 times 1, so this equals 2, plus 1, minus 2, which, well these will actually cancel, so we're just left with 1. Then we need to get the, the magnitude of u now, so the magnitude or length or displacement of u is equal to is Pythagoras theorem again. So 2 squared plus 1 squared uh, plus negative 2 squared. So that is the square root of 4 plus 1 plus 4, which equals the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. Now we need the magnitude of v. So v is equal to Pythagoras theorem again. So 1 squared, this should be easy, plus 1 squared, plus 1 squared, which equals the square root of 3. So now we can go back to this equation up here, start filling it in. Uh, so we get cosine of theta equals, well, we worked out u dot v is just 1 divided by the magnitude of u, which is 3, and the magnitude of v, which is the square root of 3. So this is just 1 over 3, square root 3, and now, to uh, get the angle, theta, we just do the cosine inverse. 
uh, both sides of this equation, so cosine inverse of 1 over 3 root 3. And uh, if you plug this into your calculator, this will come out to, in, in radians, about 1.38 radians, or uh, degrees mode, about 78.9 degrees. So that's pretty, pretty straightforward, and you see that this angle is actually acute. It's a acute angle because it's, it's less than, less than 90 degrees, and remember, more than 90 degrees would be obtuse, but uh, more than 90 degrees, but uh, less than 180 degrees would be uh, obtuse, and this is acute between 0 and 90 degrees. Okay, so now for projections, and this is actually one of the easiest. So if you think of vector v and vector u, and a projection is really just if you were to shine a, a light, a light, and it was to cast a shadow down on vector u, you'd get your projection of v onto u. And in mathematical terms, this is how we describe it. So this means the projection of vector v onto vector u, and uh, it's equal to vector u dot product vector v divided by vector u dot product vector u, and all of that times multiplied by vector u. And this is actually a, a, a way I like to think about it, is you're projecting v onto u, so all these terms here are u, and that makes sense, and you only have v there once, because you're trying to get to u, so you have a lot of you have these four u's here. You're sort of getting v to u, and so we'll just run through this equation now. So we'll use the same uh, u and v in this example, just to make it easier. So we already know that u dot v equals one. So now we just need to figure out u dot product u, and that's that's going to be two times 2, so we're just dot, prodding, dot producting it by itself, plus 1 times 1, plus negative 2 times negative 2, so this is just 4, plus 1, plus 4 again, and that's going to be 9. So now we can uh, rewrite this equation, so projection of v onto u equals, well the top part is 1 and the bottom part we just worked out is 9 times vector u. So we've got now just a scalar multiplied by a vector. So all I've done is I've taken, uh, I'm going to take the row uh, form of vector u and just to make it a little easier convert it into the column form. So 1 9th times 2 in the x component. I'll leave myself some room, so I'm going to get 2 over 9 for the x component. And, you know, 1 9th times 1 is still just 1 9th. And then negative 2 times 1 9th is negative 2 over 9. And that is your final answer. Alright, see you in the next video.